it just takes one taste to fall in love with Natalia Gordienko from Moldova. Sugar has been rehearsed for the first time on the Eurovision 2021 stage in Rotterdam. This is simple, but it's well executed and we need to talk about it. Are you ready? <laughs> Let's do this. The word here is sensual, sensuality. We've discussed this before, but this song is all about using sugar as a metaphor for desire. Natalia makes it very clear she wants to eat, she wants to gorge, she wants, as she says, that sugar on her tongue. The movements are simple. They're very simple and yet executed in a really sassy way. They're crisp and they're tight. She does a lot of this, you know, touching of skin, moving to her nether regions to convey the idea of desire and sexuality. This isn't just sensuality, this is sexuality. Um, she stands on a rotating platform that's diamond shaped and behind her on the LED is a cube, three dimensional. It, it's really quite cool, just geometric, simple. When they zoom in on her, you think she's being, I don't know, shot at by laser beams, when in fact it's just the cube outlined behind her. It's so geometric and sort of slick. It's slick, sleek, simple, and cool. Um, yeah, sometimes you don't need to have the whole candy shop you know, on stage with you. You can have a stunning dress designed by Zuhair Murad from Lebanon. You can slay simple choreography, and you could be on to a good thing. And it was also effective, actually, the choreography. And I think people were expecting just, uh, you know, with all the candy stuff, with the lollipops, with the donuts, with the thing. This is the thing that's, that was unexpected. Like, yeah. it was really simple. But those cubes, actually, they have something to do with sugar. Ah, sugar cubes. You're right. Yeah, I, maybe. I, thaw, I thought of this. Um, and oh she looks so gorgeous and you know when she sings she's like sugar sugar i love when she's speaking like this with her breath breath and this is so um, effective i think and she didn't do the last note you know she's being smart song. same with edna lena yeah. saving the like voice everyone actually saving their voices which is of course understandable but i wanted to see that you, you know, know to what? hear that it's like when you're baking a cake you can lick the batter once but if you start <laughs> spooning the batter into your mouth you're not gonna have a cake she needs the sugar for her cake yeah but hey this is very well choreographed with the dancers and she was actually dancing she oh, was yeah. dancing i didn't expect her to do much you know with the moves as in the video but hey she really did it and i hope that she can you know hit that high note because that high note is my highlight actually of the performance and i really wanted to see that but it's all right i will probably hear it in oh, the honey. second final she's gonna hit it no doubt <laughs> got my Twix right here. Mm. I'm not gonna eat it because I'm on the keto, but shout out to yeah. Natalia Gordienko. <laughs> I really think this is going to get a lot of Eastern votes. Mm. In some ways, this seems to fit with the contemporary trends of like Russian pop music more than like the Russian song, you know, do you know what I'm saying? There's something about this um, production that just sounds, you could hear this going to number one, you know, yeah. on Spotify in Russia. I think this Whoa. is going to get a lot of Eastern votes. I, I, you're from Bulgaria. How do you think this go down in regions that you're familiar with? I heard that song a lot on our radio This station. type of song? Yes. No, this oh, song. Oh, this actual yeah, song? Yes, yes. Like in Radio uh, Fresh, it's like one of the biggest uh, radios in Bulgaria. They are uh, playing it like all day. I mean, all, not every time, but really, really often. Yeah. It's so interesting. So this type of music is popular in Bulgaria. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Ah, it's so interesting. And I think that's what they were going for. Something that had sort of Western sleekness, but also an Eastern pop sound. They really achieved that. It's really... Um, straddling to use a word it's straddling the border i think this is i could see this coming 10th in the final um i don't know I, i'm not <laughs> that's really a no sure. that's I'm a not, no i'm not really sure but i i think that they could qualify and oh. i would love to see them actually qualify i think they will qualify i think the televote here will push this through mm, yeah i you're right and if she hits that high note, juries will love it as well. True, true. You know? 
Do you want to ask Suzanne Adams if she has an opinion? Yes, let's so go. So my sister is kind of off of sugar right now as well. And you're going to hear in a moment, she seems to see some kind of disco ball. Um, there is no disco ball on this stage. I think what she's going to be referring to is the cube, the kind of perpendicular crisscrossed lines, which mimic the pattern of a disco ball, but it's flat. So it's like, I don't know, lattice work, a fence. My girl, my girl, come get some sugar. Come get some sugar. Natalia's got some sugar for you, boo. She's wearing pink tights, very cotton candy, very sugar in their own sense. So Suzanne, you've just seen Natalia Gordienko's first rehearsal. What did you think? I liked this so much more than I thought I was going to. I was not a fan of the blue lingerie, blue sugar lips video. Um, but after seeing the performance on the Rotterdam stage, it grew on me a lot. Um, the staging was pretty dynamic with the, all of the lighting, and I'm telling you, I, maybe I'm wrong, but the first and second run-throughs looked a little bit different to me. The first time, it was as though she was in the middle of a stage with this disco ball, you know, moving behind her. The next time around, it didn't look so much like that, even though the backlighting was moving. Um, so, and you know, we know I tend to get things wrong, so who knows, maybe there was no <laughs> disco ball effect. I'm telling you, it's the outline of the cube. The cube is filled with perpendicular lines, and so when it's up close, you see her surrounded by lines, which mm. mimic a disco ball pattern. But this, um, this grew on me. I love her dress. It's very much like the dress um, that Elena from Cyprus wears, only she has... Um, Natalia has on long sleeves. I love the back of her dress, the way mm. it just kind of comes to a very subtle V and it shows her beautiful back. Of course, you know, Philip Kirkrob posted her shoes, which Lovely. are just so stunning. So this grew on me a lot and um, Moldova has definitely gone up for me. She's got great posture, doesn't she? Oh, she does. Yes. Well, just a beautiful woman. You know, it's like Christian Louboutin. I was interviewing him once and he said the importance of the high heel is that it doesn't just look good on the foot. It changes a woman's posture and her confidence and I think you see that with Natalia she steps into the heel and everything changes because you know they're deliberately designed these high heels to mm. perk up the, the buttocks basically which is so really not good for the back speaking yeah, of the back true. what I love about this song when it opens up is when it opens up Natalia is sitting on the back of a gentleman who was basically doing the yoga move cow cat cow cow cat, cat. And she's sitting on his back, surrounded by the other three backup dancers. You know, on the note of the yoga move, um, Elena in Cyprus, she also does a one-handed wheel. Um, oh, there's just so many different things to look for, catch. It's amazing. Amen. We're going to go do some downward dogs and say bye to y'all. But stay tuned. We have a lot more videos coming up. Be sure to let us know if you're eating sugar in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, share, follow us on the live stream. Namaste. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye.